Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So if you have taken your exam and you were unsuccessful, even if you've taken it twice and you were unsuccessful, I might offer you some ideas of why that you might not have thought of because the key of being successful and passing is knowing why you didn't in the first place. So number one, and it's not things you have thought about before probably, so number one is, did you study too much? There is such a thing, if you're studying eight hours every day, your brain can't handle that much info. Plus, if you don't remember as much as you think you should after that eight hour like study cramming session, you get anxious, you get upset. That will, you know, follow on the next day and you're thinking, okay, well, I, I have to study nine hours today because obviously eight hours yesterday did nothing because I don't remember a thing. There is such a thing as studying too much because then you won't remember anything. You are constantly anxious, okay? Number two is the opposite, not studying enough, but this is hardly something that ever happens. If you studied a week for your exam and then wondering why you didn't pass, well, that's obviously why. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about not studying enough because that never happens. Number three is not studying the right materials. If you're looking through your textbook, your notes from school, taking just random mock exams, that will not help you. You need a study plan. So study one topic, say study anesthetic. Okay, I just did a live um, tutoring session the other day on anesthetic. Almost everybody said, oh my goodness, I have been studying anesthetic, but after hearing you talk about it and you know, answer questions with us, now I kind of understand more of what I didn't understand before. So the key is to study with, with somebody else, have them ask you questions and answer questions. Because even if you're only studying anesthetic and you're studying for two hours, take mock exam questions to really know, well, did you understand the material, yes or no? Because without those mock exam questions, you don't know if you really know the material or not. But then mix it up to studying pharmacology that afternoon, study two hours, and then take mock exam questions on what you had studied to really know if you truly understand it or not. Do not just study anesthetic all day long because you will get tired, you will get bored, you will get anxious because you don't know any of what you just studied and that's not helping anybody. So mix it up. That is another tip. Taking it kind of a step back a little bit is making sure to study organized. So if you're part of any of my courses, you will see that you will have modules to look through. Study module one, one day, two days, um, three days. It doesn't matter how long it takes you, but study module one entirely. So you know, okay, I can cross that off of my list and now I do understand it because there are always mock exams and case studies after every module. So you're not just simply going through your textbook and then going, okay, I just studied community for like eight hours, but now where are the mock exam questions to take? How can I take any, any you know, questions to know that I know what I'm talking about? You can't just make them up, okay? Because if you make up those questions, you don't really know which ones to ask, right? So I can help you, let me know if you need help. I have tons of mock exam questions, case studies, all of that inside my course. Plus we meet every Sunday or Monday for 45 minutes to an hour usually and, to, and, to, and talk about one topic a week. Last week we talked about anesthetic this week we're talking about community. So you have a chance to actually study from the modules and then come on with me where I like recap everything. So I, I tell you what you have to know, what you don't necessarily have to know, and then we do mock exam questions and answers and case studies. Plus there's time to ask any, any you know, questions. So that's organized study at its finest. If you're not organized, it will be a lot harder to pass. I'm not saying you won't pass, but it's a lot harder to pass because if you haven't passed before, you don't really know where to start to pass the next time. So let me help you. All in all, you guys don't get discouraged. It happens. That's why you have multiple times to take the exam because people do fail, but don't study the same way you studied the first time because you probably won't pass again. 
you might need some extra help and that's okay. There's no harm in that. So everybody, good luck. Let me know if you need any other help and I'll see you in the next one.